We banked thousands of pips yesterday. Can we do it all over again? And all eyes on the CPI and inflation data coming up right now. Good morning on this beautiful Tuesday, the 13th of September. I am your host, Dane Funder Must. Guys, if you guys were with us yesterday afternoon, we smashed the US 30 markets live. If you're with us and a part of that, go ahead and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And more than that, go ahead and share this pre recorded session with someone out there who needs it, with someone else who can see the Globex 360 way for themselves. Don't be selfish, share and send that out and just share the love in general. So we are gonna be spending a little bit of time this morning. As always, we're gonna start on the local front and just have a look at what's busy happening. Not too much happening and mostly just about avoiding yourself from getting into a scam. So a lot of people every once in a while message me in relation to something about you know, a free retirement plan, free unclaimed pension funds, guys, please. There's currently sitting 47 billion Rand in unclaimed retirement funds. Where there's opportunity, there will be scammers. So please, as always, look after yourself and just make sure if it sounds too good to be true, it might be, except in the case of G360 TV, as always, this is absolutely free. And uh, if you were part and parcel with us yesterday, you saw for yourself the power of live trading and what the FX markets can do for you and your future. There's never been a better time to be a Globex 360 trader. All right, moving on. And thank you for allowing me that quick plug right there. So inflation data, this is what the whole world is looking at today. All eyes across all markets are looking at the data that we're going to be getting at half past two this afternoon, right? Now, stay tuned towards the end because I will be telling you when exactly we are trading. But in basic terms, we are looking to see if inflation is coming down. Now, we get this through something called the Consumer Price Index, and it helps as a gauge and a barometer to see if things are getting more expensive and inflation is coming under control. Now, the markets are expecting this to be the first month that we get some sort of retraction um, down in this inflation data, which could be hugely positive for the dollar, but we are gonna trade that live. We're gonna see how the market interprets that data, if in actual fact they hit their numbers, and what is the net result? What's the knock-on effect on commodities, FX, and indices and obviously we'll look at crypto as well so all eyes are currently sitting on that inflation data in other news the senate twitter hearing is going to be due and the reason why this is obviously important is that there is a massive battle right now between elon musk and twitter as many of you may know elon musk made a bid to buy twitter since then exposed that the company is not being forthcoming in terms of the number of users and specifically towards bots and security and has been engaged in this legal lockhead with Twitter's whole team. Now, there was a whistleblower that came forward and he was essentially the head of security and he's basically come forward and backing up Elon's claim. So this does not look good for Twitter. So we definitely wanna start paying a little bit more attention to that stock price and what Twitter is busy doing because this obviously can be something that rocks the market. And even though the state Twitter, Senate Twitter hearing um, doesn't necessarily have a direct correlation, um, we can obviously see that Elon legal team is obviously doing the happy dance today everything seems to be going his way now my question to you is Elon Musk an alien 
or is there just something else about this guy? He just seems to see the future, know the future. We will be doing a special coverage of him, where he started, where he is now, just to help you understand the brilliance behind his mind and the way he thinks about investing and the way he deals with risk. That is going to be the most important subject that I'd like to touch on. Now, looking quickly at the European markets before we get into that fundamental data, we're getting articles saying the euro is strong, right? Um, and anytime I see an article that gives a bias, right? Specifically, that is from that country, right? Where an article says the dollar is strong against everything else or the euro is strong against anything, I immediately, I'm a little bit skeptical, right? When I see that, I look at that and I'm not looking for euro strength. When I see them talking about euro strength and you need to understand the power of the media and how they control crowd psychology and what how they control that narrative. Um, so anytime I see, you know, a media outlet that is linked or obviously closely associated with that currency, I'm always a little bit skeptical. So we're going to have a look at the euro base charts, right? So euro currency base FX charts in a second. And the data is saying something otherwise, right? So we will get into that. But now quickly jumping into the fundamental data for today, as I've obviously discussed in yesterday's broadcast, all eyes are going to be on that CPI data. So that's popping out at 2.30 this afternoon. I would like to cover that one live, right? So we had an, a brilliant live broadcast yesterday, very low latency. Um, so if you were part of that again, you know what I'm gonna ask you to smash that like and subscribe button, share this with somebody. But ultimately, um, we are going to attempt a longer live stream today. So I'd like to cover that CPI release. I'd like to go into the US market and hopefully, depending how well things go, push into the New York Stock Exchange session. So we're going to look for an extended stream and the stream could be well over an hour. So if you want to jump in, you want to come engage, you want to ask for questions, you want to ask for analysis, you are more than welcome to join us. And that will be live just before 2.30. You'll see this schedule stream on YouTube if you're liked and subscribed. If you're not, you may might as well miss it. Okay, last touching on the S&P 500 heat map for yesterday, we see in general, everything was in the green. Apple performed a 3.85% increase. Now, this might be on the back of the fact that the new iPhone launch, the new products are slowly starting to trickle into the markets. And generally, as we see with the product launch, there wasn't anything revolutionary, but there is certainly going to be a knock on effect. And Apple is certainly showing it in the numbers, guys, to have a 3.85% percent gain uh, change in price is something to definitely uh, not laugh at they're doing something right they know what they're up to again we will start to be looking at exposés and coverage of some of these massive entities as we dive in and dive a bit deeper but we're all here for the analysis we're all here to see what's happening in the markets today so without further ado let's jump right in and let's get started Okay, beautiful. As always, we're going to do a quick start this morning and we're going to be covering the dollar index in terms of where she's currently at. Now, dollar index is pretty much still where she has been over the last week. We predicted a little bit of that divergence. We saw that divergence coming in and the dollar is pulling back. However, we need to remember the dollar is still very, very strong, right? We have a ton of momentum towards the top side and there's not a lot holding the dollar back at this point. Now, because we're getting that CPI data this afternoon, we are going to have a key moment where we need to look for that support and what that might mean. And will a break in support trickle or trigger uh, a sell off effect on the dollar? And, you know, how will markets react to that? So historically, and as I well obviously alluded to in a previous broadcast, uh, I'll put that link up in the description above. When, you know, when the data is good, markets don't always react positively, right? And I discussed this in that broadcast because markets are essentially looking for the next six months, the next year uh, in terms of what's busy happening. So if we see that positive data on the dollar, that might not necessarily represent and be correlated positively on things like indices it may affect commodities because their their correlation is a little bit better still broken if we look at gold but ultimately it doesn't mean that that has to be a one-to-one -one ratio now quickly touching on the euro usd setup um euro gp sorry is we've pushed up into that 50 fib level we're now sitting 
in a little bit of a vulnerable position. The same thing is currently also true for EURUSD. EURUSD is currently looking like it's in a little bit of a problem here, right? We made that push up to the 61.8. We came down to that 50 support level. And when I zoom in, you're gonna see what it is that I'm busy saying. So I'm focusing on this just a little bit more purely because of that article, the second they are you know, tooting that horn, uh, I become a little bit skeptical. So we made that push up, hit that 61.8. We're failing to get up above that 50 FIB, right? We're below it and we're busy, busy treading into dangerous territory from a support perspective. So the Euro USD is going to be a potential trade for that date to release this afternoon, because if that breaks structure, we will start to lose momentum and fall. Quickly touching on USD ZAR, USD ZAR not yet quite ready uh, for that buy momentum. We'd like to see a little bit more downwards movement. So any sort of letdown on the dollar today could get us to that 61.8. And then ultimately we would look for that long position off of support. Now, moving into indices, guys, we had a massive day yesterday looking at the US 30. So if you're part with us, uh, again, as always, give us a shout out, leave a comment down below if you traded that with us. Um, I got a ton of clients that sent in screenshots and just shared their testimony of, you know, our last three live sessions in a row, we've left every session with profit. So you want to start to get involved. These live sessions are not going to be free forever. They're going to start to require you to have a certain size Globex 360 live trading account. So while it's live, while it's free, catch it while it's hot, learn, communicate in part as we do in both directions while you still have the opportunity. Okay, right. So we had a massive day yesterday on US 30. There is good market structure again, looking at things this morning, we're sitting above that 38.2 and we could see that continued momentum towards the top side. Now this pretty much applies across the board for German 30 as well as NASDAQ. But really quickly moving into gold this morning, um, gold has really been a non-mover um, over the past couple of days. We're sitting in this unknown territory, right? We've seen that correlation as we've spoken about in previous sessions, that correlation between dollar and the gold is broken. Now with the dollar in limbo, gold has not taken advantage of that. Gold has not, you know, skyrocketed. However, something like today, right? This CPI data, um, economists are saying that if we get the numbers, that reduction in consumer price index this afternoon, that that would be the first reduction to one of the worst inflationary crises in the last four decades. All right. So that could prove to be a massive relief for the market. If targets are reached, if it's missed, it just means we're in for another month of worrying about CPI data. So that knock on effect is going to be huge. We will definitely be looking for gold opportunities um, this afternoon in those live sessions. Now, Brent was a massive trade for yesterday. Uh, if you guys recall yesterday morning, Brent was sitting at this point. Brent had just recovered above the 61.8 and we were looking and talking about that potential breakout to the top side. The reason for that potential breakout is because of that fa false move to that 61.8 ultimately hitting support. We knew we had market structure, we knew we had a breakout and we had to retest this diagonal. We ultimately did and yesterday Brent started to do the breakout process. So if you caught that, massive well done, big trade. However, I do think we're gonna to start to see a pullback on the price of Brent. Now this also has a dollar correlation, so we do need to watch out for that, but I do think there is a massive opportunity available for us on Brent crude. Now quickly having a look at Bitcoin and what she is up to. So Bitcoin is currently, as I spoke yesterday, potentially in the season where we might see that breakout. Now, another sort of knock on effect of a weaker dollar could be further confidence into the future of currency, and that is crypto, right? Um, like it or hate it, the underlying technology is here to stay. So any further weakening in the dollar, right? could push people closer and closer to digital currency 
um, of which Ethereum and Bitcoin being some of the halo uh, editions of the new era of currency. So we have made a slight push out. We're currently trading at $22,000 to a coin, but we would need to make a more concerted push. Again, I'm not looking for a buy or sell within this region. This whole region for me is a dead man zone, meaning this is where um, big money will try and grab positions. They'll do a, a bear trap towards the downside, a bull trap to the top side, range a little bit, collect some more funds, and then obviously make a bigger move north or south. So I'm really looking for buy opportunities really above the $29,000 to a coin, but I do still think there's potential for us to go all the way down to $13,000 to a coin. So it's definitely something we want to pay attention to. We want to make sure that we are guarded against. Now, as I said a little bit earlier, we will be live this afternoon, just past two. I want to cover that 2.30 release. So if you want to be a part of that, guys, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you're jumping in with me this afternoon. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think the US CPI data is going to hit target? Do you think it's going to miss target? And what currency, what instrument are you most excited to see have a big move? And as always, if you drop your comments in the video down below, I do see all of them. If you have a question, I will reply to you. And if you have a request for the live session, put it in these shows because I get to see that, I get to do the analysis, and I get to incorporate it into our live events every day. Guys, outside of that, be safe, trade safe, and as always, do things the Globex T60 way. My name is Dane Funnemaster, and it's been a pleasure. See you soon. Goodbye.